Welcome to the Amalinx Pro Table Builder. This is a quick demo video to show you exactly how it looks and how it works. So this is the example table I have set up on my demo site with backpacks as a product. Now we know that mobile responsiveness is a big issue, so I want to show you how this will look on a smaller screen size. So I'm going to minimize this window to kind of mimic what this would look like, for example, on a phone. If you scroll down, you can see that a bunch of the information is placed in a box that you can toggle on or off below each image and price. All of this is 100% fully customizable. You can put any of the elements you want in the part that stays open and then anything, any of the information that you want in the box below. So now I'm going to quickly show you how I create a table like this. So I'm going to go to my test post here, click the Amalinx Pro button. I'm going to click the Table Builder button. I'm going to add table. I'm going to call this one Backpacks 2. Now to add products, I just click this plus sign here. I'm going to search for Backpacks. This brings up the search results in Amazon, so I'm just going to select a few of these products. When you select a product, the check mark turns green. Try that one, maybe this Under Armour. And I'm going to go to the next page of results on Amazon, select this yellow one, and maybe this one. So then after I selected all the products I want to insert, I click this button to insert them in the table. And everything in this table is fully editable, customizable. All of these titles are pretty long, so I'm not sure how well that would look on, on the site. So I think I'm just going to delete this column. And then I want to add a different column. I want to add the brand. So instead of the title, I'm going to show the brand. Insert column. See, it inserts it over here on the far right, but I want that right next to the image. So I simply drag this next to the image and drop it right there. So all of these columns are totally customizable. There's settings that you can set in each one. If you want for the responsiveness settings, if you don't want this column to display on smaller screens, you just click the button so it won't display on smaller screens. But for now I'm just going to let all of these display. More of the settings. Vertical and horizontal alignment. And then finally you can choose whether you want this column to be linked to Amazon. And obviously I want the Buy Now column to be linked to Amazon, so I'll check that. And that's pretty much it. You can also move these rows up and down by dragging and dropping, or you can delete them if you don't want. And if you want to add some more products, you would just hit this plus button at the bottom again, and you can add some more. And after your table is all set the way you want it, you just save the table, then insert into editor, and then we can click preview to see what this looks like on our site. takes a moment for it to load and here we go here's the table I just created it took me just a couple of minutes to create this really nice looking product comparison table with Amazon products 